Welcome to Hockey Wiz Talks Podcast. Today I'll be talking about players to pick up for the playoffs in fantasy hockey. If you are playing in the head-to-head fantasy league, you should be aware that the playoffs are approaching. So I thought it would be fitting to talk about players to pick up for the playoffs in fantasy hockey. Forwards to pick up in fantasy hockey. Jack Roslovic. Jack Roslovic has played very well in the last two weeks. He has two goals, five points, one power play point, along with 37 faceoff wins, 15 shots on goal, and is a plus four. Roslovic is playing on Columbus's first line alongside Jacob Voracek and Patrick Laine, and would be a great pickup for the playoffs. Christian Dvorak. Christian Dvorak has played very well in the last two weeks. He has two goals, four points, along with 77 faceoff wins, 11 shots on goal, and is a plus two. Dvorak is one of the league leaders in faceoff wins, so he would be a fantastic add if your league counts faceoff wins. Joel Farabee. Joel Farabee has played well in the last two weeks. He has four goals, nine points, two power play points, along with 18 shots on goal and is a plus four. Farabee is playing well on Philadelphia's first line alongside JVR and Cam Atkinson and is eligible to play all three four positions in fantasy. Yakov Trenin. Yakov Trenin was pretty consistent the whole season, but for some reason, he has been overlooked by most fantasy owners, as he is only owned in 1% of fantasy leagues. In the last two weeks, Trenin has 3 goals, 5 points, along with 19 shots on goal, 23 hits, and is a plus 3. Scoop him up if you want to fill up your garbage categories. Seth Jarvis. Seth Jarvis played really well in the last two weeks. He has 5 goals, 8 points, 1 power play point, along with 12 shots on goal, 14 hits, and is a plus 5. Jarvis is playing on Carolina's first line alongside Sebastian Ajo and Tevu Teravainen, and can play all three forward positions in fantasy. Keegan Kolasar. Keegan Kolasar is a great player to have on the roster in the playoffs if your league counts hits. He has 47 hits in the last two weeks, which makes him the league leader in hits. As an added bonus, Kolasar has chipped in two points as well. This makes him a perfect player to have in the playoffs to boost those garbage categories. And now a word from our sponsor. Check out my scouting blog at HockeyWiz777Scouting.com. Listen to my scouting blog podcast on anchor.fm backslash HockeyWiz777. Defenseman to pick up in fantasy hockey. Vince Dunn. Vince Dunn has played well in the last two weeks of the season, having tallied six points and two power play points in that time span. While Dunn doesn't contribute much in the garbage categories, he is clearly one of the best options available if you need a point scoring defenseman. Brady Shea. Brady Shea has played very well in the last two weeks of the season, having tallied one goal and four points along with 19 shots on goal, 16 hits, and eight blocks, and has a plus three rating. Shea covers all the categories across the board and would be an excellent pickup in fantasy for the playoffs. Chris Weidman. Chris Weidman has quietly been one of the most productive defensemen in fantasy in the last two weeks, putting up one goal and six points along with three power play points in that time span. Weidman plays on Montreal's first power play unit and has been real productive on it. Pick Yanni Hockenpa. Yanni Hockenpa is a great player to have on the roster in the playoffs if your league counts hits and blocks. Hockenpa has 32 hits and 14 blocks in the last two weeks. His 32 hits are second in the league amongst defensemen behind Ratko Gudis, and he is also top 25 in blocks. Check out my hockey blog at hockeywistalkshockey.blogspot.com. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at hockeywist777. Goalies to pick up in fantasy hockey. Antti Ranta. Antti Ranta is a reliable goalie to have on your roster for the playoffs. He has been quite reliable in the last month of the season, putting up a 4-1 record with a 2.32 GAA and .925 save percentage. Ranta will likely split time with Frederick Anderson and tends to play against the subpar competition, making him a great pickup for the playoffs. Logan Thompson. Logan Thompson has been the workhorse for the Vegas Golden Knights in the last two weeks. He has a 4-2 record with a 2.51 GAA and .927 save percentage. He's been a lot better in net of late for Vegas and has been a lot better in net for Vegas than when he was first called up. I expect him to continue to be the workhorse for Vegas so don't be afraid to pick him up for the playoffs. Eric Calgren. Eric Calgren is going to be the starting goalie for the foreseeable future with both Jack Campbell and Peter Mrazek out with injuries. Calgren has played okay this season. He has a 3-2 record with a 2.64 GAA and .911 save percentage. Calgren should be a decent option in fantasy because Toronto should win enough games in the regular season. In my next podcast, I update you on the NHL playoff picture and scoring leaders.